Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a happy new beginning just around the corner, honestly. I feel like this is something that you you have maybe been kind of getting a feel for, like maybe in your meditations or in your visualizations, maybe even in your dreams. It's like there's something that you think about and you're like, it's almost here. I can almost see it. I can almost feel it, right? It's kind of like you've been working your way to this milestone, this goal, this accomplishment, this achievement. Uh, for some of you, it could be something related to your career. For others of you, it feels like a very personal endeavor. Um, I feel like with that Four of Wands, sometimes it can feel like it takes, you know, everything out of us to achieve what we want most. But I feel like for you, it's kind of like along the way, you've been able to, um, you know, almost like acquire more love and appreciation for yourself and for your life. Um, I kind of feel like there is a lot of different things happening right now where it's like you may feel as though you're really making um, amends or peace with the things of your past as you're getting ready to embrace new beginnings. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups, it's like you're slowly walking away from all the things that used to hurt you um, to the point where you're looking back to some of these memories and saying, you know what, that doesn't even bother me anymore. That doesn't hurt me anymore. I don't even feel anything, right? It's like you are really making peace with your past. And I feel like the only way that somebody does that is when they have committed to themselves fully and they say, you know, I'm going to treat myself the way that I deserve to be treated, you know? So if we are constantly thinking about the past, we're constantly imposing pain onto ourselves and that's not really loving ourselves the way that we deserve. So for you, it, it really feels like it's been a subconscious kind of like shift where you have just started to let go of all of these things and you're not putting the blame on the past or on anything or anyone. You're just saying, I'm just walking away from it. I just no longer resonate with that. I no longer connect to that. I no longer label that, right? So for a lot of you, you could even be, you know, recognizing this in your relationships where maybe some people that used to kind of make you feel something, you look at them now and you're just like, you know what? I don't feel anything. I'm, I'm focusing on the future so much more that that doesn't even touch me. So we have the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like this is where things are changing. I feel like with the Knight of Cups is you're slowly really getting close to something. That Wheel of Fortune is confirmation that it is going to happen very soon and it's going to be great. But right now, it's almost like the universe wants to stop you where you're at because you seem to be truly in the middle of the two um, stages, right? The two chapters it's like you're walking away and at the same time looking forward to the future so you're in this very you know beautiful sweet middle ground of this journey or this um you know transition and i don't really know how to describe it what is that phase of our lives when we're slowly walking away from our past and embracing um the future i don't i don't know if there's a name for that right now that i can think of that is unique but i definitely feel like you are there all right, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been working really hard on your future, on your success, on your financial abundance and independence. We have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, Nine of Pentacles. So right there, I kind of feel like with that Knight of Wands, this is you putting all of your effort to get through a situation um, that maybe is connected to your past. I feel like you're really making the last and final adjustments to whatever this is so that you no longer have to think about it. So that is no longer a part of your life and it can truly truly stay in the past. And with this eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, whatever it is that you're working on, you're really close to finishing it. You're close to completing it. You're so close that part of you is already thinking, okay, well, what am I gonna do next? You know, what am I gonna do when this is all said and done? I feel like the universe is saying, Libra, just take care of yourself, right? You you probably don't realize it because you're so high on the productivity, but you need to take a break. You need to take care of you. So factor in a little bit of that recharge and, you know, self-care into your future plans. But I, I kind of feel this energy, you know, right now. You're feeling that motivation. You're feeling excited and pumped up for what's next. And to me, that is true proof 
true proof that you are no longer connecting to your past. We cannot be this excited about the future when we're still reminiscing and constantly thinking about stuff that we've been through. And a lot of you may not even realize that. So I feel like the universe is saying, Libra, give yourself credit because you're not there anymore. All right, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a brand new beginning coming towards you. Um, there's an opportunity or an offer that you will be either offered or invited to um, or asked to join or there's something that you're going to look at and you're going to say you know what I can see myself doing that or I can see myself being a part of that or working there or you know seeing this through we have the ace of swords two of cups and the seven of cups there is just a world of opportunities for you I feel like with the two of cups and the ace of swords there's also something that's becoming very clear about what it is that you want most at this time that you didn't allow yourself or didn't admit to yourself in the past because you were still connecting to past energy or even something that was painful that was blocking this but now that this is no longer really a priority or a part of your current state of mind i feel like you're finally admitting to yourself this is what i really want this is what really drives me or calls to me or, you know, makes me feel something. And with that, you're saying, now I can factor what I really want and the truth into these other options. So you're creating this map of possibilities, right? You know, um, this map of opportunities that, you know, no matter where you stop, right, on that map, you're going to discover something that you love or that you like, or, you know, you're going to do things that you enjoy. Let's clarify the Five of Cups. Wow, so I just heard the phrase ghost of your past. So maybe some of you are trying to disconnect from a situation that makes it seem like it is a ghost from your past. I don't know, that just came through. Maybe it resonates, maybe it doesn't. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck to further clarify the Five of Cups. And then we also have the Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So this to me also feels like part of you accepting a new opportunity has to do with you making a decision that maybe brings out a lot of uncomfortable feelings but you know deep down inside that this is you walking away from this completely right because difficult decisions healing all of that it's not an easy thing it's not effortless otherwise we, may, we would as humans have a lot less issues right but that's the whole point is you are willing to do that right now because you want better for yourself. You believe in yourself and you know deep down inside that making this decision is going to open up this world of opportunities so that you can finally have what you really want. So really, really love this for you, Libra. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.